Hello, everybody, and welcome to Essentials at Home. I am your coach, Austin, and today we are going to be going over core and more. So our premise of today is working on all the stability muscles in our core, from the transverse abdominis, which go right down our body, or our obliques, which are on the side, and help with uh, rotating our body. We're going to work on other things like uh, neck and spinal alignment. So try to stay with me. I'm going to be doing mostly seated additions of these exercises. Uh, if you guys want to stand up and do it a little bit more difficult, absolutely, by all means, go ahead. Uh, I will be kind of giving some modifications that you can do to make it harder. And if you want to make it easier, I'll be giving you a few of those as well. All right, so let's get started here with a little bit of a warm up. Um, our intention for the day is going to be that strength and growth come only through continuous effort, struggle, and hard work. So we're going to take the struggle that we have throughout going through a workout, know we're putting in the hard work, and our effort level is there. All right, guys, let's get it up and let's get going. So we are going to start by hugging our body, okay? So I'm going to let you guys get into position here. We're just going to start by hugging our bodies. If you're seated, you could do the exact same thing, okay? We're kind of stretching our back forward, kind of pushing out on our spine to get as much range of motion as we can. And then we're opening our arms back up and hugging. We're going to do this a few more times, guys. Try to push out your spine. Feel all the muscles around it, loosening up and open back up. Stick with me here, guys. Great job. Saturday, Saturday, what else are you guys going to do? I hope you guys have some good plans. If not, maybe it's snowing already. We'll enjoy the snow. It's always so beautiful when there's snow on the trees. And open back up. Great job, guys. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to sit down for these next few. If you want to stay standing, by all means, just be careful because we're going to be doing uh, looking directions and up and down. So make sure that you have your feet underneath you. All right, for the first one, we're just gonna take our neck and go chin to ear. So we're gonna be making sure that we keep our head straight. We're not tipping our ear down to our shoulder. Good, we're gonna look side to side a few times here. Make sure each time you're trying to get a little bit farther into that stretch, really wake it up. Get you feeling good on this Saturday morning. All right, guys, a few more here. Really try to push the limits. And now we're going to go up and down. And up and down. Again, trying to get a little bit farther each time. Make sure not to go too far. To where you're hurting your neck. All right. Now we're going to do the third one. You're going to go ear to shoulder. So you are going to now tip your head down, trying to keep your chin forward. Don't let it hug to your shoulder. Going side to side. With the same mentality of trying to get it farther and farther each time. Nice and slow. Feel a good stretch. Great job, guys. Keep it up. All right. We're going to go into our next warm-up here. If you're seated, you guys can do this here like I am. If you're standing, you can also try this standing. So we're going to keep our arms straight out vertical, and we are going to shift. And I meant to say horizontal. That's kind of funny. All right. And we're going to go the other way. You guys see how I'm keeping my arms up high at that level? and I'm bending through my core, elongating through the side that I'm going to. Okay, you guys can see how I'm stretching out the sides of my core here. Kind of fits with core and more, huh? Good, I'm feeling all those muscles in my core starting to wake up. To keep my core tight, I'm holding my belly button into my spinal cord. I'm thinking about bringing all the way down for my floor muscles in my pelvis all the way from my spinal cord and my belly button, pulling it all in, all the way to the top of your core. And we're gonna do five more. One, two, three, 
four and five. Excellent job, guys. That's not an easy one. We're going to come through some of these again. So stick with me here. We're going to go into glute squeezes. So if you're seated in a chair, I want you up on the front of it. I'll give you guys a side view here. So I'm up on the front of my chair. There is room, keeping my core in tight, my chest up tall, and we're going to squeeze our glutes. We're just activating them at this point. We're squeezing our glutes. Okay, core is so important to be working with your glutes. So that's why we're going to also activate this muscle as we're going to be working on it throughout our exercise today. Keep it up, guys. Squeeze in and release. Squeeze, hold for about one to two seconds and release. You guys can see I'm squeezing and relaxing. Two more here. Keep it up, you guys. Good. Now we're thinking about using those glute muscles, heels underneath us. We're going to nail our toes into the ground, nose over toes, and we're going to do sit to stands. If you guys want to do squats, by all means, go ahead and do squats. Just try to tap that chair instead of sitting all the way into it. And we're going to go for 10. Ready? Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Keep it up, guys. Up. Four. Up. Five. For the last five here, I'm going to go into squats. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep it up. Two more. Nine and 10. Good job, guys. All right, we're going back into the chair. I'm going to turn back forward. All right, and if you guys want to do this standing up, again, you can. We're going to reach side to side, and we're going to think about that same motion going this way so that we're bending at our core. Make sure we're using that same motion so that we're not twisting, okay? So we're reaching, reaching, reaching. Good, guys. Keep this up. We're going to go for a 20 count. That was five, six. Again, keeping your chest forward, eight, 10, 12, 14, guys. Six more. Keep it up. Really feel that core working. We are working on core and more. 18. 20. Good job, guys. Again, if you're standing up, you can be doing the same thing. Just make sure you're keeping your chest facing forward. We're going to go into side punches. So we're going to now rotate and twist our core. We're going to come up onto one leg, slightly off the other, because you guys are thinking, if we're thinking about standing up, we're driving through. We're using our hips. We're going to do the exact same thing seated. So we're driving, using our core, and twisting and punching. All right, we're going to go for 20. Ready? Go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Stick with me, guys. Eight, nine, keep it up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I'm rotating my core every time. 18, 19, holding my glutes strong. 20, good work, you guys. We're gonna start looping up from the top. Only a few exercises here. We're gonna go into the arm straight lateral and we're gonna keep them nice and horizontal here. We're not letting it go down. We're flying our plane nice and straight. Ready? Side. Side, keep it up guys. We're gonna go to 12 on this. That's three, four, five, six, Keeping your butt on the seat at all times. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. You can also be doing these standing up. That is completely all right, guys. Now we're going to go into ten glute squeezes. Ready? One, squeeze, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, three more guys, keep it up. Eight, you can see how focused I am. I'm getting my glutes activated for this exercise. All right, 10 guys, great job. Now we're gonna go into sit to stands. 
Keep your glutes engaged. Standing up for one. Two. Keep it up, guys. Three. Four. We're getting that heart rate up as we're going into some exercises here after these last two warm ups. Keep it up, guys. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, guys. Now we're going to either stay standing right, lateral reaches, keeping that chest facing forward, or you're seated. Ready. Reach. One. Two, four, six, really keeping that chest facing forward, bending at your core, eight, ten, keep it up guys, halfway there, twelve, if you can, pick up the pace a little bit, I'm going to stay at this pace, fourteen, sixteen, four more, finish strong, you guys got it. Nice. All right, going right into those side punches. All right, ready? One, two, six. Really punch that arm out. Extend your elbow all, all the way. Eight. We're rotating our core at this point. One glute is coming off the ground. Ten. Twelve. Keep it up, guys. 14, 16, four more, rotating that core, 18, 20. All right, we're ready to get going. Get a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna do eight exercises today. We're gonna do them for one minute, all right? Eight exercises, one minute, two times, all right? So 16 minutes of exercise, I'm pretty good at math. I could do that right in my head. All right, we're gonna get into it, guys. If you're doing these exercises standing up, make sure that you're safe, make sure that you're working hard, all right? I'm gonna go at a certain speed. You don't have to go at that speed, but you can go faster or slower. It's up to you guys, all right? So I'm gonna set a timer here on my watch. We're gonna go for one minute, like I said. And ready our first exercise, marching. We're gonna march with arm swings, okay? If you're standing, same thing. Ready, go. Now going for one minute, we wanna make sure every rep is good, okay? So we're not going too fast to where we're losing our control. If you feel like you're losing your control, slow it down, get your core in tight like I explained earlier by bringing your belly button into your spinal cord. You can see I'm keeping my chest up nice and tall, core in tight, driving that knee up, okay? Working hard here. One minute might not seem like that long. Give it to 16 minutes. See how we're feeling. Keep it up, guys. Drive that arm up. Drive that arm up. I got a little lax there, calling myself out. That's what exercise is about, holding yourself accountable. You got this, guys. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. My core is starting to feel it already. Now we're going to take a leg out to the side and back in. Okay? We're going to then incorporate big arms. Big arms. Okay? If you're standing up, stepping out to the side, big arms. Ready? One minute. Go. Big motions here, guys. We're following Parkinson's specific exercise, but that doesn't mean anybody can't do them. That means that we're using our whole body and really getting everything involved. Seven, eight, open that arm big, nine, 10, 11, keep it up guys, 12, 13, 14. I know we're going for time here, 15, 16, I'm counting so I can see if I can beat it next time. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 15 seconds, guys. Big motion still. 25, 10 seconds. Six, 27, 
28, 29, 30. Good job, guys. All right, we're moving on to the next exercise. We're going lateral flexion down to the side, keeping our core forward like we did in our warm up. Then down to the other side. Ready? Go. One minute. If you guys are standing up, you could do the exact same thing. Standing up. You guys can see how my arms aren't getting too far away from my body, right? I'm staying nice and neutral. Arms going straight down to my body to make sure that I'm flexing at the side of my core. So we talked about transverse abdominis, the ones that go straight down, often called the six pack or the obliques that are on the side. This exercise is working all of them, but as we go down to one side, you're working the obliques on the opposite, okay? Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. 15 seconds to go. Here we go. Nice job keeping that core in tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, guys. Next exercise. Our hands are going to go up. If that's too difficult, you guys can keep them in front of you, across your chest, wherever you want. If you're standing up, same thing. Hands are up here if you can, okay? And we're going side twist. See how my hips are staying completely forward? If I was going with my hips over, you would see my feet going or my knees going that way. So those are staying nice and strong, going side to side. Ready, go. See, I'm keeping my arms up here at the scarecrow almost or across. I'm up here and I'm staying there. So I'm not letting them flex in or anything as I twist. My hips are staying neutral. Really feel the burn, guys. Keep it up. Woo, I'm feeling it. If you're standing up, same thing. You're not letting your hips twist out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stand up halfway through and we are halfway through. I'm going to show you guys if you were confused, right? Hips are staying forward. Really feel the pull in your core. You guys got this. Finish strong. 20 seconds left. You can see I have more range of motion this way than this way. It's because I have scoliosis. And that's okay. I'm going as far as I can. Great job, you guys. Good work. All right, we're going right in to the next exercise. We're keeping the intensity high. We're gonna go double leg over a spot on the ground. So I'm imaginary line drawn. I'm gonna lift my feet, come over to the other side. So let's get into position here. I'm on the edge of my chair, chest is up, core in tight. I put my hands here in case I start to lean back, but you want your core to do most of the work. Okay, I'm here and I'm here. You guys can see that technically I don't need my hands. So try to use them as little as possible. Ready, go. Keep it up, you guys, keep it up. Here we go. Core in tight. I drive my legs up, it flexes my core. I drive them back over. Keep it up, you guys, keep it up. I'm still getting all the way over my imaginary line. Working hard, working hard, guys. 30 seconds left. Push it, push it. Woo, I'm feeling the burn and I'm loving it. Remember, there's no struggle, there's no effort. You gotta put that hard work in for success. Come on, strength and growth. Five, four, Three, two, one, time. Good job, guys. I'm gonna let you guys get a sip of water if you need it. We are going fast here because we wanna keep that intensity high. I hope you guys are wearing your MyZone heart rate monitor so you guys can track where you're at. If you guys are close to that 80%, really push it, give it your all. We wanna be in that target heart rate zone of 80 to 90% of your max heart rate. All right, I got done with talking a little bit there. We're going into our next exercise. 
If you're seated, you're gonna lift one leg up. This one's gonna be tough. So if you need to lean back a little bit, you can. Brace yourself with your hands. I would like to see it without hands first. Give it a try. If you can't, modify down, okay? You're gonna go up and out, up and in, okay? We're gonna go 30 seconds on this side and then 30 on the other. Ready, go. And if you guys were doing standing versions of these exercises, try this one seated. It's very difficult and it requires a lot of control. We're not letting this leg get out to here as we go over. We're not turning our body, we're lifting, bringing it back in. Keep it up guys, we're still working. Great job guys, come on. Saturday's got nothing on us, let's go. And switch, lift the other leg out to the side, back in, ready? Go. Keep it up, you guys. Keep it up. Here we go. Almost there. 15 seconds left. Push. Push. I'm holding tight. I'm not letting my core open up too much. In three, two, one. Great job, guys. That's not an easy exercise, but neither is our next one, but we're going to still do it. All right, ready? We're going to come down here. We're going to lean slightly back. Our knees will, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, our toes will come off the ground. Our heels are making contact. You're going to lift your legs, bring them in, bring them out. Okay, here's a modification for you guys if it's too difficult. Sit a little bit deeper in your chair. Keep your core tight, but big posture. Lean back until you feel your chair, but my back's not slouching into it. Up tall, hands on, then I bring my legs up, okay? This is a good modification to still get that good core work in, okay? I'm gonna be facing this way. I'm gonna stay at the edge of my chair for those who are doing it more difficult. You will need a chair again for this exercise. Ready, up, one. I started counting, but I'm only gonna do the first exercise where I counted the first so I can test myself on the second to try to get more. It's a good way to push yourself. And when you're doing exercises at home, making sure that you're finding little tricks to make sure you're getting that extra hard work in when there's nobody there to push you. Keep it up, guys. My core is tight. I'm bringing my legs in through my core. If you guys are feeling this more in your thighs, really think about bringing your core in tight and using it more to help and assist with this exercise. You can hear my voice change because this isn't an easy exercise. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. This is our seventh out of eight exercises. Working hard. Core tight. Good work. And we've got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job. I got tired there at the end, so I got a little bit quiet. Good work, guys. All right, last one of this series. We're gonna open and close at the same time. Ready? And one minute. Really close, really open. Really close, open. Big motions again, guys. We're doing big motions. If you can on the second set, we're gonna be counting as loud as you can, okay? We're gonna use our voice on the second set and making sure that as you're going through your exercises, you're using that voice, okay? I didn't wanna to add too much in right in the beginning, but you guys are ready for it. I know it. Keep it up, guys, come on. 20 seconds left, go, go, go. How many can you get in the last 15 seconds? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, time. I got eight. How many did you get? Hopefully you beat me. All right, guys, get up if you need to. Move around. If you're still seated, you guys can shake it out a little bit. Those were our eight exercises. Now we're gonna do them again, all right? 
We're gonna go through it a little bit faster. Obviously, now that I have explained the exercises, what we're working on, really try to work it hard. I'm getting, you know, that tired of like feeling I'm working. We're gonna keep going on that. We're gonna use that energy right into marches. Ready? One minute. Go. Keep it up, you guys. All the way up with that arm, keeping that core tight. Working hard here, guys. If you're standing up, you're still working hard. Trying to get as many marches as you can. Driving that knee all the way up, ties you can to your chest, not letting your back dip backwards, right? We're not going back each time the leg comes up. Bad form there, keep your core tight and forward. Keep it up guys, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Drive, drive, Woo. come on guys. All right, good job. That was our first, we're going into our second abduction out to the side, or adduction out to the side, abduction back in. Okay, we're opening up big motions. You can see how that leg kind of slipped in on that side. We're keeping it strong, not letting that happen. Ready, go. Oops. I just wanted to take a second to talk about how important shoes are. What shoes you're wearing throughout an exercise and what type of support you're giving your feet is super important. I actually have just purchased a pair of cross training shoes that allow me to have a nice flat bottom when I'm doing resistance training and different things like that, okay? So I want you guys to make sure, doesn't have to, they don't have to go run out and buy a pair of shoes, just make sure you're using your best pair of shoes that have the most support. Things that have a big sole and they have the uh, shocks, they might allow a little bit of dip to one side as time goes on, that might cause imbalances in your body. So give the shoes a check, because it's so important, guys. Working hard here. I'll get off my soapbox and we're back to it. Come on, 10 seconds. How many can you get? How many can you get? Let's go. Keeping that leg in, not letting it slip out to the side. And time. Good work guys, good work. Now we're going into lateral flexion, okay? So we're going here, down to the side. You can see it looked like I hiked my shoulders up, but they are down, they are depressed. So I can raise my scapula and I can bring them down. We're staying down, going side to side. Ready, go. Arms close to the body. Keep it up guys, focus. This one's a core burner. If you're standing up, you can be doing the same thing. Keep it up guys, working hard. 30 seconds left. Today's class might be a little bit longer than you're used to, but we're working hard throughout all the 40 minutes. Come on guys, push. 10 seconds, let's go. Push, my core is still in great position. My spine is nice and tight. I'm holding my muscles around it nice and tight. Three, two, one, good work. All right, arms up. We're going into seated twist or standing twist. Ready, go. Again, my legs are staying neutral. I'm not letting them twist. If you're not feeling that motion while you're standing up, try it seated. Keep it up guys, we're working hard here. 30 seconds down. Again, right, I can get a little bit farther this way. 
than I can that way from my scoliosis. That's all right. And 10. Three, two, one, time. Good work, guys, good work. All right, we're going into the second four exercises of our set of eight. All right, we're gonna lift double leg over our imaginary line. So that imaginary line's drawn in between our legs. We're lifting up and over, bracing yourself, keeping your core tight, and go. Remember, I'm driving up and over that line. Keep it up, you guys. We are getting close to the end of our exercise, so we're giving it everything we have. If you're using your my zone and you're close to that range, really push here. Try to get it up. Get to that next color, whether you're in blue, get it to green. Green, get it to yellow. Let's go. Here we go. Almost there, 30 seconds left. I can see, and I know you guys are working hard. If you could see, I'm working hard. I'm sweating. You guys should be too if we're working hard. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work, guys. We got three exercises left. We're going to lift the other leg, and we're going to step one out to the side. All right, so if I lifted my right leg up, my left going out to the side. Ready? 30 seconds. I'm holding my core tight, chest up tall, big posture. Remember, if you need to be leaning into the back of the chair, that is totally all right. If you guys counted on your first set and you're counting on your second to see if you beat yourself, that is great. I got 30 on my first set, uh, my second set of abductions with the arm out to the side. On the first set, I got 28. I pushed myself to beat it. We're working hard here in three, two, one, and switch. Ready, go. 30 seconds. Keeping your core tight if you're leaning back. Posture is big. Core is tight. Working hard. Let's go. And five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Good work. All right. Now we're leaning back. If you need to, holding your core up, big posture. I'm going to be on the edge of my chair here. We're going to bring our legs up, toes in the air, drive up our knees to our chest. Good job, guys. If you need to go single leg, that is absolutely all right as well. Work on it and try to get to that double leg as we progress. Not necessarily today, but as time goes on. All right, guys? Trying to progressively add as much as we can to our plates. See how much that we can accomplish. Keep it up. I'm going to go back to double legs. We got 20 seconds left. Push yourselves, guys. Come on. Second to last exercise. Then you guys get to have some coffee and donuts. I didn't recommend the donuts. Don't tell anybody that. Keep it up, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. I made you guys do five sets there, or five reps there in the last five seconds on the last two exercises. I don't know if you caught my tactics. All right, we're going into our last exercise. We're going to open and close. Big arms, close and tight, okay? Ready, go. Last exercise, give it everything you got. Crunch your core in as you come back. Working hard, guys. I'm breathing heavy. That's a good sign. Keep working hard. Keep it up, guys. 
Come on. How many can you get? How many can you get? We've got 25 seconds left. Go, go, go. Make sure you're breathing as well. As we start getting through to the last exercises, I know it's harder and harder to think about breathing, but making sure you're getting that good air. Keep it up, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good work, guys. That's a great way to start Saturday morning. I hope you guys had a great class. I hope you guys are ready to take on the day. Now go out there and enjoy your Saturdays. Have fun, guys.